So, uh, no, I'm not doing laundry. Uh, well, I kind of am, but last time I went out camping, I got into some chiggers. I'll see if I can find a picture of it. It's kind of gross. So I uh, did a little research online and uh, how to fight chiggers. I usually use bug spray, uh, like something with DEET, but I want to get a little bit more aggressive. So research online, a bunch of websites said to use this, uh, it's par parathane, I think. This is a, a brand of it. I'll put that everybody recommended. But the active ingredient is parathane. Ooh, it's uh, toxic when it's wet, safe when it's dry. So I recommend using gloves. Comes with an instruction card on how to use it. it. Says you're 70 times less likely to get bit by a tick by using this stuff. Uh, they say spray it on your clothes. It lasts for six weeks or up to six washings. Which uh, the way I go, it's gonna last six weeks because I probably wash it once a week anyhow. And uh, it looks like a lot of clothes to go camping, but I have one pair that I wear, and then I keep. Uh, sweatpants, t-shirt, and socks in case I get wet. Because you know, I, I usually just go camping for a day. If I go camping longer, I'll throw in an extra pair of sweatpants and uh, some uh, boxers, but I don't want to spray the stuff on my boxers because, you know, chem chemicals next to my giblets kind of make me nervous. It's easy to apply. You just spray it. And uh, they say to use four and a half ounces per outfit. Outfit being pants, socks, and a shirt, shoes. Yes, I even sprayed it on my shoes. I don't know what I'm gonna wear, but my boots or my tennis shoes, so I sprayed them both. But uh, I use half a bottle on two outfits, which is a little bit more than four and a half ounces. There's, there's really no way to gauge what you're using, so I'm gonna stop at the dollar store, get a clean spray bottle so I can just measure out about five ounces, and then this way I can gauge how much I'm putting on on my clothing. I'm also going to put it on my sleeping bag and on my the bottom of my tent. And I'm going to spray it in my hammock, but it's getting cold out. I don't think I'll be using a hammock anymore this year. So I'll just spray the hammock in spring. I'm going to get me another bottle of this if it works. So I got a camping trip coming up this weekend. We'll see how it works. I usually come home with a couple of bug bites. That's not too bad, but like I said, last, last time I got eaten up by chiggers, which is a story all in itself. But, funny story. Okay, here's what happened. I tried to, sleeping in the hammock. Couldn't get out of the hammock. I couldn't find a zipper pull. Had to pee in the middle of the night. Finally found the zipper pull. I just jumped out of the hammock. I slipped my shoes on. I didn't even tie them. I didn't even have my feet in them. Kind of, I was kind of wearing them like slippers. Walked about five feet from, from the hammock, peed. Next morning, I was eaten up with chiggers. I'm talking all over my feet, up, up my legs. It, it was horrible. Worst I've ever been bitten by bugs. And usually a bug bite or two don't bother me, but this was bad. So I'm armoring up. Bugs, your days are coming. So I say this stuff is like deadly toxic to cats, dogs, cows, and other animals. Not so much, but it said on there, do not get on your skin. So I, I can't imagine it'd be good for any animals. But I got my sleeping bag liner. I'm gonna demonstrate. Like I said I used a half a bottle on two outfits when I should have used about 10 ounces. And this is a 24 ounce bottle, so I used probably about two ounces too much, which I guess ain't too bad. But I have a sleep bag liner. I like to fit my air mattress inside this so I have something nice and soft to sleep on. I'm going to spray this in case I get any bugs in the tent. You don't need a mask, but this stuff smells like shit. I think I might have enough left to do my tent. I'm gonna do the bottom and up the sides of my tent, probably about a foot. So I usually don't set up my tent in bushy, grassy areas, but you never know. And uh, 
If I got left over, I'm going to do my sleeping bag too. I'm going to order another bottle of this because like I said I got enough, a lot more stuff I want to spray. But uh, I'm going to wait till after this weekend to see how it works out. As you can tell by the falling leaves, it's getting cool out, so the bugs might not be that big of a problem. But I've been bit by chiggers in the winter time. <laughs> it's weird. Usually use bug spray with DEET, but 24% DEET's all I've ever really seen. This Coleman 100% Max is 98.1% DEET. I'm gonna spray these on my ankles and stuff whenever I need a little bit of bug spray protection. Uh, our nighttime temperature is gonna be 40s. I don't think mosquitoes are gonna be too much of a problem. Uh, like I said, I've been bit by chiggers just about all year round here in North Carolina. So, uh, yeah, bugs, your days are coming. I'm armoring up, I'm fighting back. No more will you be able to dine on this big pile of deliciousness. I perform a little experiment. I left this, I treated this rag. I put a little bit of powdered sugar and a little bit of honey. And we'll just leave it here in the garden. We'll see, uh, in theory, there should be a bunch of dead bugs on here by tomorrow. We'll see. Two days later. I don't see any dead bugs on it. I don't see any bugs on it. I think this test kind of failed. Anyhow, got some free candy. One week later. Word of caution, that 98% DEET or 100% DEET will stain your clothes. Either that or I wet my pants. This is all dry, but it's stained from where I just sprayed it on it. Live and learn. These are my camping pants anyhow. All right, so I just had a weekend of camping and uh, bugs weren't too bad because we're in the fall and they're kind of cold, but I gotta tell you, I did not get, I did not got. Me no get bit by bug once. Not once, zero. Uh, thanks to this Sawyer insect repellent thing. I don't care, I don't think it matters what brand that you get, just as long as it is active ingredient. Permethane. Permatrin, it looks like. All right, so if you got some time to kill, check out my podcast, 10 Minute Off Road Podcast. It's a podcast for the Off Road with Short Attention Pan. <laughs> we cart for it up here. Got some time to kill, check out this video. Didn't like that one, check out that one. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell so I can annoy you at 4 in the morning with all this awesome content is dropped. All right, thanks for watching.